what's up everybody 915 man here gonna do a video today on something very important your water purification system this is a very easy way to keep everything at zero TDS I have a marine depot six stage RODI unit and as you can see the DI resin is spent uh, I have the color ch changing DI resin and it's one of the things that's going to take care of you, keep you at zero TDS. The other thing that's going to really protect your system is the membrane, the RLDI membrane. Uh, but in this video, we're going to talk about the color changing TDS uh, DI resin and how to do it. And this video is geared for beginners. For all you pros, you want to stick around, that's fine. Uh, it's always good to hang out with you guys and talk to my fellow reefers. Now the excess water that's already in the canister is fine to go ahead and throw in your, your bushes and any plan to reuse it. But the DI resin, you're going to want to have a bucket so you could throw it out because it can get messy. You don't want to throw this stuff in your yard or anything like that. So I always carry a bucket. And I just throw all my junk in there and then when I'm done when it dries out then I go ahead and place it in the trash can now my goal is to get as much DI resin inside of the canister as possible you want to jam pack it in there as tight as possible so that way your DI resin will last you for quite a while you want to do a clean cut and just fill it up and once you fill it all the way up then you give it a couple of love taps and then it'll start compressing again and then you repeat and fill it up again as tight as possible as you can see that the DI resin went down and let's go ahead and fill it up some more so that way uh, you can get as much DI resin in there as possible as you can see I packed it in now it's all we got to do is put the cap on and then I'm gonna take it over to the uh, station the RLBI station and uh, install it now on my di resin i actually got a razor blade and cut it but the dumb thing is it's sealable uh, so don't cut it just cut at the tips and then you can seal it get as much air as you can out of it so that way when it's ready to replace them again you can start you know having an excess of di resin uh, another tool to use is this wrench it'll tell you which way to tighten it which way to loosen it it doesn't have to be super tight super her you know hercules tight or anything like that good enough once you set it up the water will run as you can see i need to change out my other filters the carbon block filters and the uh, sediment filter but uh important thing right here is i'm going to be at zero tds so thanks guys hope you guys enjoyed the video hope this video helped you out I'm going to flush out the membrane and uh, tighten it up and I'm being good to go guys.